In our last four examples, we are going to have a reminder of adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing fractions. So uh, our first example, which is example 9, we have 1 fifth plus 1 third. Can we add these fractions as they stand just now? Uh, the answer to that is no. Uh, in order to add or subtract fractions, we must have a common denominator. So what that means is we need the same number on the bottom of both fractions. What we're looking for is the lowest number that both 5 and 3 goes into. The lowest number that 5 and 3 both go into is the number 15. In order to achieve this, we must multiply the first fraction by 3. 5 times 3 gives us our 15 on the bottom, multiplying the denominator by 3. So in order for the fraction to stay equivalent, we must multiply the top by the same number. Similarly, on the second fraction, uh, but this time we are multiplying by 5, which means we must multiply the top by the same amount. 1 times 3 gives us 3 on the top, and 1 times 5 on the second fraction gives us 5 on the top. So now we have 3 fifteenths plus 5 fifteenths, that gives us 8 fifteenths. What we need to do now is check to see whether a new fraction can be simplified. Is there any number which goes into 8 that also goes into 15? The answer to that is no. So 8 over 15 is our final answer. Example number 10 is a subtraction. We have 5 sixths minus 1 quarter. So as we said uh, before, in order to add or subtract fractions, we need a common denominator on the bottom. One way of finding a common denominator is simply by multiplying the two denominators together. 6 times 4 is 24. So we could have 24 on the bottom, but that's not the lowest common denominator. The lowest number that both 6 and 4 goes into is 12. We achieve this by multiplying the first fraction by 2, remembering to multiply the numerator by the same amount, and on the second fraction we must multiply by 3. Multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same amount ensures that our new fraction is equivalent to the one we started with. So we have 5 times 2 which is 10, and 3 times 1, which is 3. So that gives us 10 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. That leaves us with 7 twelfths. What we need to do now is check to see if it can be simplified. Is there any number which goes into 7 and also into 12? The answer to that is no. So 7 twelfths is our final answer. Example number 11 is a multiplication. We have 12 over 21 multiplied by 7 over 18. Uh, in this example, we don't need a common denominator. That only applies for adding and subtracting fractions. Uh, we're going to have a look at two methods of doing this question. Uh, this is method number one. So what we've got is this fraction multiplied by the second fraction. So when multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerators together and then multiply the denominators together. So the first one is 12 multiplied by 7. 12 multiplied by 7 is 84. And on the bottom, we have 21 times 18, which gives us 378. So what we have now is 
a fraction with a big number on the top and a big number on the bottom. So what we need to do now is see if we can simplify. So the first one that might spring to mind is that 2 definitely goes into both of these. 2 goes into 84 42 times. So that gives us 42 on the top. And 2 goes into 378 189 times. Okay, so what we want to do now is see if we can simplify again. So 2 doesn't go into both because this one is an odd number. So the next one we can try is 3. Does 3 go into 42? Well, yep, it does. Uh, 3 times 14 is 42. And does 3 go into 189? It does. 3 times 63 gives us 189. Can it be simplified again? It can. Uh, the next number that might spring to mind uh, is 7. 7 goes into both 14 and 63. 7 goes into 14 twice. So we have 2 in the top and 7 goes into 63 9 times which leaves us with 2 over 9. Can 2 over 9 be simplified? Well, no, there's no numbers going to both 2 and 9, so 2 ninths is our final answer. It is possible to do this, step, uh, this, this first method a little bit quicker. We could have gone going straight from uh, the fraction we have up here to our final answer. Uh, we could have noticed that 42 goes into both 84 and 378. 42 goes into 84 twice and 42 goes into 378 nine times. So we could have missed out the intervening steps by simplifying it in one. This is not the only method. In fact, this is not the best method for doing this type of question. Uh, we're going to have a look at method two. And if you can remember this method, then it's definitely the best way uh, to attempt these questions. Before starting, we look at our two fractions. Neither of the two fra fractions can be simplified the way they are at the moment. But when multiplying fractions, you can also check the numbers on the, the number on the top on the left and the number on the bottom on the right. And similarly, the number on the top on the right and the number on the bottom on the left. You can check these numbers to see if they can be simplified. So we have 12 and 18. Is there anything that goes into 12 and 18? Well, there is 6 goes into both 12 and 18. Uh, 6 goes into 12 twice, and 6 goes into 18 three times. Similarly with 21 and 7, 7 goes into both of these, 7 goes into 7 once, and 7 goes into 21 three times. That leaves us with 2 over 3 on the first fraction, and 1 over 3 on the second fraction. Multiplying these out, 2 times 1 gives us 2, and 3 times 3 gives us 9 on the bottom. So our final answer is 2 ninths, which you will notice is exactly the same as our answer using method 1. If you can remember to do this uh, diagonal simplifying, then it will be much easier and more straightforward. Our last example is a division. 3 fifths divided by 5 eighths. How do we do dividing fractions? Well, what we need to do is change it to a multiplication, but we want the same final answer. But we can do this. We can change our division sign to a multiplication sign and still get the same answer, but what we have to do is flip the second fraction upside down. Multiplying these fractions will give us the exact same answer as dividing these two. The second one has just been flipped upside down.
3 times 8 is 24, and 5 times 5 is 25. This cannot be simplified, so this is our final answer.